Creation Eco Phenomics. I am Shreya Roy, and the weather out here is awesome. So I decided, why not I show you a painting of mine? How to canvas paint like a pro or like a professional? Today I shall be sharing with you the ocean horse painting, canvas painting like a pro. Before we get into the video, I have some quick, quick, quick. You know disclaimers and uh, announcements to make so in my this channel this this shall be the last diy painting crafting fun stuff because my initial subscribers who had actually subscribed to my channel edunation eco funnomics they subscribed it with a view that they would get to see some educational some career motivating stuffs and lately post this lockdown post this corona thing happened i have deviated and shown a lot of my you know private spaces here and i think it's not doing really justice to the people who wanted to see some educational stuff so what i have decided is that i have an another email id of mine which is a more private email id like uh, i mean not a private email id so i was just thinking of opening another channel uh, i haven't yet really thought of a name for it most probably it's going to be something like shreya funnomics because i have an instagram account with it but uh, let's just see by the time this video is uploaded maybe i already figure out a name for my other channel that shall be a more blog personal you know my free time blogs my paintings my craftings my diys everything it shall be my personal zone and if you are an introvert i bet you should i highly recommend that you should subscribe to my other channel watch me okay so now so if you like diys and crafting videos please subscribe to my other channel the link should be down in my description box and now let's get into the canvas painting if you like what you see please hit that like button and if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to never miss another video now let's move into the video focus on the background create a very vibrant opaque background so that whatever you draw over the background is it pops out When you speak, angel, sing from above. 
once your background has dried out with pencil free handly sketch out whatever you want over it for me the face of the horse or the face cut of the horse was very important so no matter however your horse looked if the face and the bone structure the facial structure of the horse is fine a horse would end up looking like a horse I was totally lost by this time. I was sure that I would screw up my painting because I was not at all sure as in what paint to put where and my painting was totally monochrome that is all shades of blue and hence I was so 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 worried at how it would turn up but at the end it did turn up pretty well. So a small trick over here which I always tell myself is it's just a DIY it's just a painting so you don't have to burden yourself I mean you're doing it for fun it is not a professional thing nobody is going to pay you for this nobody is going to scream or scold or you know fire you for a bad work you have to just relax calm your mind have fun during the painting process and that is the key to have a brilliant good masterpiece Whenever you are painting any animal, just make sure to make plenty of fur because a mammal has furry body and the more furs and you know irregular edges you make, it looks like a more healthy animal. Layering is the key. The more colors you put, the more layers you add, the more professional your painting looks. Always remember, let the first layer dry, then add on the second layer. The colors should be somewhat different from the base color so that the color on the top, it pops up. Use different brush tip sizes. For example, initially you start with a 10, then layer it up with a 6, then layer it up with a 4, then a 2 and maybe a 1. So the more layers you add and the more fine definitions you add on the top, the more good and vibrant and professional your painting looks.
Finally, I did add some spatula or painting knife touch on the furs and the hair of the horse, but I lost the footage. But have a look how brilliant and beautiful this painting, this canvas painting turned up. Doesn't it look absolutely professional? the entire video thank you so much i love you guys and until next time toodles